Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. What is your earliest memory of taking an action that you would now consider to be self-sabotage? And why is that memory so important? Well, actually, it's not the memory. It's the aspect of your personality that keeps stepping up and trying to run your life, but it can only do so from the level of maturity that it was at at that point in time. And I'll give you some examples. For me, It was nine years old whenever I went into relationship bargaining. I'll explain that one in just a moment. For another one of my clients, she was seven and she was being taken advantage of, uh, to put it nicely, by a family member. And that's when she discovered that if she was doing something with food, that they would leave her alone. Well, that's that was a level of certainty that the food gave her. And then every time she needs certainty, she turns to food. Another one of my clients overcompensates for significant people in his life, for those that he loves, or at least he used to. Earliest memory is I can't be taken care of in the way that I need. Well, I'll just step up. And not only take care of myself, but make sure I take care of others. And that invites partners that are going to be dysfunctional takers because he was a dysfunctional giver. Or what about the client who um, said, oh my gosh, I know what it's like to be rejected. They're about 12, 13. I know what it's like to be rejected. And so even though you're not healthy, I I can see the pain. And so I don't want you to go through that pain. And then allowing very unhealthy people in her life up to the point that she didn't. Okay. So as I'm going over my personal story, put yourself in it and see what memories come up that are complementary to what I went through. So I was nine years old and we were on vacation. We were going from the Midwest down to Florida, and we stopped off at a place in Alabama that has the uh, USS, I think it's Alabama Battleship, and you could tour it. I don't know if you can still do that. Oh my gosh, it was very old whenever I did this. Oh, over five decades ago. Um, But anyways... We were touring the battleship. It was my parents and then my siblings. I was nine, and I had a brother and two sisters that were uh, two, three, and four. And then we got to the gift shop, and they were running around like little hoodlums, grabbing everything off the shelf. They wanted everything because we had really never had an experience like that before. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my gosh, my parents cannot afford all of this. At nine years old, I already had an implicit understanding of what was going on as far as finances in our house. And I also had watched programming and conditioning that said, don't speak about certain things, just take action to try to soothe things and make it okay. Mm -hmm. And so I did what's known as relationship bargaining where I said, oh, wow, I am going to make it okay for them at the expense of myself. And when you relationship bargain, you you don't bring it up. It's implicit. It's internal. So no one really knows that you're doing it. There was a, a very pretty necklace. And just remember, it was like a uh, 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 a, a, cri- a crystal prism, sparkly. And I thought that would be very nice to have, but I can't because if I do, they can't take care of my brothers and sisters. And so whenever I was asked, Dom, what do you want? I went, Oh no, nothing. And they're like, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, this began a decades long experience that whenever I would be triggered around people where I was afraid that they couldn't follow through, I would relationship bargain on their behalf at the expense of myself. Yeah, because that that experience was known as an imprint, but it was a strong enough imprint that it actually created an aspect of my personality, a part of my personality that froze in time. And so I would have a nine-year-old show up and relationship bargain. Now I'm going to give you an example of something that happened a week and a half ago where she got triggered because she, she's she's always going to be with me. Yours will always be with you. The trigger will always be there, but you need to give it an upgraded meaning now. So my mom moved to Florida with my dad. They retired 35 plus years ago. Dad's been gone 12, 14 years. And she finally decided that she wanted to move back home. Midwest of the U.S., Missouri. It's where three of her four kids live. And so she, she's actually moving in with me for a little bit while she finds her place. There was a family member that said, I'm going to give you a gift, Pat. I'm going to give you a gift. That's my mom. That whenever you sell your house and you get ready to move back, I will fly down. I'll put you on a plane where Dawn then can pick you up and I'll drive your car back. Great. No one knew that mom's uh, was going to sell the house in 12 days and that the closing was going to be over Memorial Weekend. Uh, which is a really big time for this family member that said, I'm going to do this as a gift for you because they got graduations. Uh Uh-oh. So they reached out to me and said, can't do it. What do you think should happen? Oh, let me tell you, that nine-year-old, she was triggered. Years ago, she would have said, don't worry about it. I've got it. And then would have absolutely torn her life apart trying to make something happen that really wasn't her responsibility. Uh, So that's what she wanted to do. But my wise woman, which is on the other side of her, the law of polarity says everything is created as a whole. So if you have a younger you that self-sabotages, then you have a wise you that knows how to parent you and, and bring you out to the other side. So my wise woman stepped up and said, hmm, let's take a breather and we'll get back with him. And I did offer assistance with boundaries and rules. Boundaries bless, rules restrict. So let's see if you can tell which one was the boundary and which one was the the rule. So I said, uh, I can fly down, but it has to be on this one date that's going to be early because of the client load that I have. Uh, I, I will be spending one night getting up bright and early the next morning and hitting the road. It is going to be dependent on whether or not my dog can be boarded in the medical boarding at the vet because my dog has medical challenges and cannot go to a, a regular boarder. And so they have to have an opening and you still have to find somebody to drive back with me because I am not doing a 12 hour trip all on my own. To which point they said, oh, you know what? We think this other family member is going to be available to do it. And they were right. The other one was available and actually is turning it into a mini vacation. How wonderful is that? But it wouldn't have been if I would have allowed that nine-year-old me that knows how to relationship bargain, step up and say yes, and then try to figure out how to make it happen. With that being said, there's an aspect of your personality that gets triggered and then acts out in ways to where others benefit, but you pay the price. And now that that creates a lot of angst and a lot of upset. And you will pick up a second habit that 
will be dysfunctional, disordered, dysregulated in order to give you relief from the first one. In fact, with me being triggered with that conversation, that nine-year-old was going, oh, oh, yeah, wow, I'm not feeling so good, even though I couldn't relationship bargain because my wise woman stepped up and handled it. The nine-year-old was still going, oh my gosh, what do I do? And I'm like, let's look at pretties. Mm -hmm. Maybe nine-year-old, the next uh, pat on the back that we give ourselves for achieving a milestone in action needs to be something that you pick. And she did. She picked out a pretty shirt. Okay. Now, did we buy it right away? No, because we still need to take action to earn it. We don't give ourselves things to get relief. We, We take action to get resolution. And then we reward the action. Okay. If this sounds like something that you might be able to benefit from, it's known as the four R's. Reveal, release, relearn, rejoice. This is how hypnosis is used whenever I work with my clients. Uh, We reveal the aspect of your personality that has been showing up, but in a way where others benefit and you pay the price, we release them from that current contract. Then we've got to relearn that that younger you needs to be given something new to do. And then the relearn also means that we need to have your wise person step up and start handling those situations. And then rejoice. The younger you partners with the wiser you And then they show up in your life consistently to improve the quality because when you're triggered, you now have an upgraded meaning. If I might be able to assist you with this, I'd be honored. But until then, understand that whenever you act out in ways that maybe you don't like, it's not necessarily who you are today. It's who you were when you first learned that this is what you had to do for others to be okay. Let them know that they're cared for and that they're loved and they're not going to have to continue to operate this way anymore. What I'm getting ready to share is not for everybody, but if you are the type of person that has been through some stuff in your life and you want to assist others to where they don't either have to go through it or when they are in it, you want to help them get through to the other side to upgrade as quick as possible. Well, maybe you should marry your passion of helping others with the profit of your own holistic business by becoming a certified hypnotist. Because as a CH, you now have a process and a system that you will be taught that will allow you to showcase your brilliance as well as the BBS that you've been through, bad belief systems. It allows you to showcase that in a way that assists others. And here's the great thing. Every time you give someone a suggestion for them to be their best, it can actually boomerang back to you to where it also helps you. That means the more people that you assist living a high quality life, then it also works for you automatically. Okay. If this sounds like something that you might want to investigate, then go to dawnlandrum.com and click on Become a Certified Hypnotist and see exactly what the program offers you. Besides just the fact that it's virtual, you can attend from anywhere and you can get your certification by two evenings a week for just 12 weeks. Okay, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, 636-699-7791. 
or there is a button that will pop up on the CH page that says, am I the right instructor for you? And you can click on it and set a time for us to chat. And if I'm not a fit for you, I'll be able to guide you in who you should be looking for. It is time to give your pain a fuller purpose for progress that goes beyond just you. Let's support those that are looking for you, that have a story similar to yours, and you can help them add on an additional chapter that's going to be about the success in their life, and it was because you were there to support them.